Let's talk about adapting to change. Uh, different personalities uh, will adapt to change um, easier or harder than others. Uh, so, for example, people that are more um, uh, analytical and perfectionist orientated, they don't mind changing, but they just need to know what the change is so that they can feel confident in order to make that change. For people that are more task orientated or people orientated, uh, they tend to um, thrive on the challenge and the excitement uh, of change. So for them, there's different motivations. I suppose what I'm saying is there's different motivations for different types of people. And the interesting thing I find is people may hate the word change, but they love the word innovation, yet it's the same thing. So I, I think it's about the communication piece and it's about the involvement piece in regards to that. Now, we can connect to this uh, change and stress. So stress is brought about by things outside of your control. So if we're thinking about factors that's external to the business or internal to the business, what can we do as leaders to uh, empower our, our people so that they feel involved in the change process so that they're less stressed? Uh, when people are less stressed, they're more focused, they're more productive, um, they're more uh, efficient. So that would mean as a leader, we need to give people their time and the space and the resources we need to give them the support that they need in order to help with that transition through change, knowing that some will move through change quickly and other people will move through change at a slower pace.